it's because you wear the title and yeah I'm getting my boobs done I apologize if it's a little loud I am using my vlogging camera just because I'm filming in my like closet slash film room this camera may be picking up all of my window noise because I am like facing the window right now to get the best light because it's late it is 641 here in Atlanta. I am not a disclaimer girl. I feel like you knew what you was getting yourself into when you clicked this video. However, you know, if you're against plastic surgery and um, breast augmentations, obviously this is not gonna be the video for you. I am in no ways um, promoting changing anything about yourself. I'm just sharing my experience, my decisions, my life, my decisions, and that's it. And I know there's a lot of women who probably have like gone back and forth about this and um, I'm one of them. So the surgery is about to go down in a few days. Um, I'm really anxious, really nervous trying to enjoy my boobs without a bra on feel on them because clearly they're not gonna feel the same i have always wanted my breasts done it's something that i mean i've always had smaller breasts with weight gain and loss and gain and loss and y'all already know how they do they just keep going down you know but it's cool you know they're still pretty perky i love my boobs just because i'm getting them done doesn't mean i don't like myself or i don't like my breasts it's just i want to enhance them if, if anything i feel like it means i love them even more giving them a little a little boost <laughs> as long as i can remember it was like oh i can't wait there were things i've always wanted i knew i wanted veneers i knew i wanted my breasts done and those were like the two things that you know i was like yeah that's, as soon as i as soon as i grow up <laughs> i'm gonna get these things done we're here now and we are a few days away. I'm going to be going to Ivana Plastic Surgery in Miami. And if you guys aren't familiar with Miami, it is the plastic surgery capital, okay? It is the place where you get everything done. I'm still uh, not sure if I wanna go over the muscle or under the muscle. I'm a little torn about that, but um, I'm waiting to see my doctor. My first like pre-op will be in person. I've been doing a lot of things virtually because obviously I'm an out-of-town patient. So, you know, we've been texting and calling and um, yeah, I, I'm not sure yet, but I definitely want to see what the doctor recommends for me because clearly, you know, he's a certified one. You board certified, sir, you tell me what you think is best. I'm just really nervous about it going under my muscle and you know, the process, you guys can YouTube it yourself. Of course, I've traumatized myself by YouTubing it. I don't know why I do this to myself. I'm just torn you know there's pros and cons to both I'm not a doctor so I'm not gonna sit here and you know try to explain that but I've been doing my own research and again I'm so torn okay I do plan on having children I'll explain to you guys like what I envision for my life when it comes to children so I'm not worried about it interfering with that I'm just at a place where I want to be a little selfish I want to do things totally for me yeah this is just one of the things I've always put off and I always said yeah I, I want to do it and I just never did it but these are like the last years that I'll truly have to myself and of course I'm sharing my life with my husband but like when I become a mom like my body is not gonna really be my focus it's gonna be my children you know so let me enjoy a few more years of being snatched and <laughs> lifted and you know cool so that's just where i'm at i'm at a yolo phase my boobs are more like teardrop boobs so i really want this look like i really want like a, a high profile i think look um i just want a little bit more projection because there's no boobs up here so from <laughs> here to here it's, it's just chest and it's cool you know i love my boobs my husband loves my boobs they look good in clothes but yeah i just i definitely want like a fuller look so that's what i'm going for so we'll see what he says on top of the breast aug i am going to be getting full body lipo so you're going to be sucking fat from every wean take it away take it away <laughs> and liposuction is something that i've done before um so i'm not nervous about that i've never spoken about plastic surgery especially my plastic surgery just because you know i never thought that was anyone's business like, i grew up in a time where like those little things were things you kept to yourself and it was so subtle i didn't think that it was a big deal like i got surgery years ago before it was popular when it cost eleven thousand dollars just to get lipo of one area but i was i was really young and i was like i would say depressed i um i can talk about this now but um i was with child and um i had a miscarriage um i was pretty it was it was a pretty sucky experience i had um 
not expected it. I had melasma, I had gained weight, and I was really early, like my body like totally, it was like a, literally, a, I mean it is a foreign object, but it was like my body like had a negative reaction to the pregnancy and I was unrecognizable. Um, my lips were dark, my neck was dark, I had blew up really fast, you know, and um, I ended up uh, having a miscarriage. But because like I had blew up so fast, um, and you know, it, you know, you know, um, I had lost my motivation. I was working out like crazy. I was like at the top of my game. I want to say I was probably like 22 when I did it. Um, I was also doing hair at the time, so I had clients who were dancers, and they were like, "Girl, don't be sad. Just go get that light bulb out." And you know, like I wish. I didn't do that that young. I wouldn't recommend anyone getting plastic surgery in their early 20s. You just don't know what's gonna happen with your body. You don't know yourself yet. You haven't fully developed. But I was young and you know, like my career was just like taken off and I was pretty visible and I was just like, oh my God, I, people are gonna know this happened to me. You know, like it was just really bad for me mentally. And um, I decided to do it. And you know, it's, it was basically like a tire light bulb. So it was the complete, um, lower portion of my stomach because that's where I had like you know gained weight yeah I looked great <laughs> um you know it didn't really change my body I can try to find pictures um I've always had like a really really big butt but after getting light bulb you basically gain fat in all the other places that <laughs> you weren't light bulb so like you know everything got bigger like my butt got bigger I got a little bit more hips I mean I never really had hips I still don't really have hips per se, but I have a really small waist. And you know, you gain weight above the lipo and below the lipo area, still in the lipo area. Yeah, I gain weight like up under my boob area. So like right here, I have like a fat pocket that just swells when I gain weight. Of course you gain weight in your arms, you gain weight here, like you gain weight in places you didn't expect. Like people ask me all the time, like, oh my God, is your butt real? Is your butt real? But it's fake or but it's fake and it's just like, let's just there's nothing but muscle <laughs> and homegrown fat there okay period the booty the booty been there okay the booty's been there okay that's just tea for girls who are just looking to get lipo you have to make the lifestyle changes because it'll just be something i'm going back you know to get lipo so um that's that on that i never lied about this it's just something i don't feel like i wouldn't tell people i don't personally know but like some of my clients have become my friends and we would be talking they're like girl i'm going to get lipo and i'd be like babe if you're gonna get lipo like lipo multiple areas because look you know like you'll gain here you'll get bra fat you'll get this you know so like i'm always honest with people that i know and i'm very transparent but like it, most people who want to know what's going on with you especially online they don't care to know most of the people don't really care to know they just want to have something that they can say about you i do think i want to like add a little bit of hips but we'll see i don't want to look like i don't want to not look like myself um so we'll see the boobs are going to be a huge change but i will be vlogging this entire process i don't want to ramble i just think i'm finally at a place where i am absolutely secure with myself i really don't care what people think of me i don't feel like this is something I shouldn't share at this point especially because a lot of us are entering to this chapter of our life 30s and you know some people may want to do things that I'm doing and I, I don't mind sharing and documenting I don't mind documenting the process I just I don't want to be the girl that's like your body goals and I'm not like honest with you and um you know I don't I didn't think I'm excited I'm nervous it's gonna be different it's definitely content that I never thought I would ever upload because I never thought I'd be here. I never thought I'd actually do it. Yeah, I haven't made like any solid decisions yet, but I don't want huge breasts. I want a little bit of projection, a little bit of lift, and a lot of cleavage. So, I mean, just based on what I'm looking at, I'm a C cup now, so I'm hoping to be a small D and, you know, be, be out here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Kudos to all the girls that have amazing boots. Your boots are beautiful. My boots are beautiful. But I'm just going to, you know, just like I contour and highlight, I'm just going to be contouring and highlighting. Period. <laughs> so, yeah. 
love you guys um you can leave me any questions below again i really won't have a lot of information for you because i haven't made those decision decisions yet but i'll be blogging where i'm going where i'm staying who's taking care of me my mom is coming with me yeah love you guys and be sure to um leave me any questions or comments below um if you have had a breast augmentation just let me know below any tips or tricks that you may have to speed up healing um and that's all folks again i am not promoting changing anything about yourself that is just not who i am i'm all about self-love and to me this is what i consider to be self-love so you know if you disagree that's fine i'm not going to go back and forth with anyone in the comments so you know pray for me um and i'll see you guys soon bye